You are an awesome person. Keep doing awesome things with your music. One thing that I've learned personally multiple times is don't give up on your music unless it's seriously something you want to walk away from. Don't doubt it for a second. Don't sell your equipment. Don't question if you should continue creating and exploring this love that you have for the art. Just continue to do it. Continue to express yourself. And regardless of what happens, I guarantee you that you will be happier, that you will enjoy life more because you'll know at the very least that you are awesome and you can make music and it's like your secret superpower. Believe that, know that, and feel that. Yo! I'm Mnemonic. Welcome to a little bit different of a video. I had a fellow subscriber of mine reach out to me on Instagram and he hasn't been pestering me, but he has certainly reminded me like, yo, Mnemonic, you said you were gonna do that thing and you were gonna listen to my music and put it on your channel. So that's what we are doing today. I'm an aspiring music producer from India. Shout out to India. And I recently found your tutorials on YouTube and they're amazing. Yes, they are. Two minute tips, I made nine of them. If you have questions about making music in a home studio, go check those out. Your tutorial on how to make sounds wider is fire emoji. I've been making beats for almost a year now and I'd love for you to roast them. Well, we'll get to roasting here later, Renard. You just hold your horses. Also, keep making those videos. Well, look at here. Look, look, look. Hey, look, there's Renard. Looks like he's hiding his face for some reason or possibly sneezing. You know, one of those full face sneezes. All right, Renard, what you got, my man? First off, this song by J. Cole is already dope. It's got that bounce. I just haven't heard the the actual original J. Cole version in a while, so I don't know how much this varies from it, but it's obviously grooving. Obviously you flipped the flip. We call that a double flip. This is a double flip. Mm-hmm, yeah. It seems like you got some comments for it. Your, your fans seem to like it. So that's always good. With the vocals pitched up, to me it gets it gets overcooked quite quickly. That is a is a harder boil than I would like to dip my toast in, if you know what I'm saying. I'm doing it in the order that you said, Renard, to respect your wishes. Here is maybe. We're gonna go full screen on that. Here we go. Already loving that sample. You can hear the vinyl crackle. I love that. That's good. mellows out even more. Bruh. <laughs> ah, I'll just start reading the comments for commentary. Mm. I dig that, Renard. There are several things that really grabbed my attention. At the beginning right here, when you pitch it down right before that first little drop. I do that all the time. I love pitching things down, doing kind of like a scoop. It's not a traditional verse, chorus, verse, chorus. It's just an experience. I really love that. It is not as, as sad as you say it is. It's got this beautiful inspired feel to it and i really really love that dude i am first off i'm liking it and i'll probably listen to it again thank you for that that was so good lastly we will listen to warp hold on
hold on. This this may need to be paused because something extremely important has been brought to my attention. My wife texted me with the words, you have been summoned. That is correct, it's a cheese pizza. I'll be back in just a little bit. Oh hey, while I'm out, uh, let's check in with our sponsors. I'll be right back. Eumonic, please report back to the studio as soon as possible. Yes, a little bit of za, just original cheese, nothing crazy. Mm. Oh yeah, I just tried. Yo, your percussion is so sick. Vocal chops. Oh. Yes. A little switch up. Interesting. Kind of threw off my vibe. Maybe this is why you called it Warp, because it kind of warped my perspective on what the song was doing. You still have that chill bed of kind of comfort, but then there's that arpeggiated synth that is kind of driving me crazy. But dude, that textured percussion, minimal glitchy sounds, I love it. Goes great with a cheese, a pizza. Mm. All right, Renard. Mm. My favorite, let's just start with that, is maybe. Dude. Such a good sample, first off. And the way you flipped it is fantastic. Maybe is the jam. You can tell. Many others agree. Mm. Almost done. Wow. When I have thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of subscribers asking me to do things, I won't be able to do things like this. So for the time being, this was very opportune of you to reach out to me. All I gotta say, Renard, is keep doing what you're doing. You reaching out to me says a whole lot about your passion for your music, so there's no reason to stop. From an audio engineering perspective, your sounds, your music is very pleasing. The mixes are balanced, they sound really good. I really love this kind of minimal, glitchy, hip hop ambient vibe that you have going. I know you asked me to roast your beats, but uh, maybe it's because my belly is full of cheese at the moment. I didn't really feel like roasting you, man. I feel like boosting you in, in some form or fashion. So keep being awesome and make some more music, bro. If you are new to the channel, thank you for joining me. I have many plans in the works. I have this new space. You can watch the vlogs, the whole process of me building this. So now that I am here, I just wanted to get back to making content. I was like fiending just to, just to make some music. So this was a nice little switch up of a video. I appreciate y'all watching. Shout out to Renard. Go follow him. Go check him out. I definitely recommend the song Maybe if you're trying to chill out and just vibe to some ambiance. Should I do the hat thing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the hat thing. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa.